if he was just checking the, uh, the, the wheel rims a little bit because obviously we saw you know, the brakes being on fire, was there any damage to, to the wheel rims as a result of that? Your driver of the day vote continues. There are quite a few candidates for this, including of course the man who is leading, uh, Max Verstappen, but I dare say Nick de Vries, the other Dutchman, is going to get uh, quite a, a decent percentage of the vote given the way that he's coped on debut here and he's got uh, behind him uh, well, down the, uh, the main straight, uh, the Alfa Romeo, mind you, we can uh, just move forward with uh, Max Verstappen now into that uh, first chicane, and uh, Verstappen is starting to catch you know, not just the back markers to lap, but also uh, those in the points. Martin Brundle is going to make his way down to the uh, Park Ferme area to interview the top three, which at the moment is Max Verstappen and Charles Leclerc and George Russell. Carlos Sainz continues on his way, uh, catching uh, George Russell, trying to give us a blockbuster finish. There's a man who knows a thing or two about a few blockbusters, and from Sly Stallone down to uh, Ted Kravitz <laughs> in the pit lane. Some would say, uh, what's the difference Sly Stallone and Ted Kravitz? You know, both legends in their own right. Uh, yeah, we're pretty much, well, I was going to say we're nearing the same age, but um, I, I don't, don't think we are. Um, but uh, if you're a Tifosi, I'll give you some good news. You can look at this with your glass half full. Charles Leclerc is catching Max Verstappen. I'll put the, in the realistic news, he's catching him by about a tenth of a second per lap, and he has broken the, seven, the 18 second barrier, but he now sits firmly in the 17 seconds behind the Max Verstappen category. So uh, yeah, he's not catching him, of course, uh, in any way that would threaten Max Verstappen, but uh, I think Ferrari can only now just see what happens with Verstappen's tires, uh, what do we have, Crofty? Uh, less than 10 laps to go. Uh, you never know what might happen in front, but uh, just holding station on the soft tyre. They have broken the 17 second gap, but uh, yeah, it's. Uh, I'm sure Verstappen has pace in hand, but Leclerc, yeah. okay. What he's also doing, Max, is he's picking his way through some of the back markers, and uh, that might be slowing his progress slightly. And whilst he was doing that, rather helped out Nick De Vries, uh, because in lapping Joe Guan Yu, and then lapping Nick De Vries, he's obviously lapped De Vries a little bit quicker, uh, because <laughs> De Vries has now broken Karun Chandel, that DRS threat from Joe behind him. Yeah, crucial moment there for Nick De Vries. <laughs> Yes, he is. I mean, he's he's pushing on because he's got Checo Perez on a fresh set of tyres, seven laps newer than Lando Norris, hunting him down. But you know, Martin said a few laps ago, well, when 12 laps ago, precisely, when Leclerc came out, he needed a second a lap. He gave one second in total so far. So. Uh,